I get a call from the ER doctor saying we have a lady coming in with some shortness of breath for the last couple of days. I couldn't breathe very well. I couldn't take a deep breath. And my heart rate was continuing to go up. My wife said to me, come on, we're going to the hospital. The ER doctor came in and he just looked at her vitals and he said, I'm pretty sure you've got a blood clot. I had had knee surgery three days prior. I slipped on some laundry and went down very hard on my right knee. So they go in arthroscopically and remove that part of the meniscus that is torn. I knew that it was a fairly easy procedure. I felt good, sore, wore my compression sleeves, took my baby aspirin as I was supposed to. I had it a, my first post-op with the surgeon. I got it Monday morning and I had a little bit of pain in my right calf. Again, did not think anything was wrong. I got about halfway through the lobby to leave the doctor's office and I did not know what hit me. I couldn't catch my breath. My heart was beating. We came home and I sat on the couch. My wife, she says, do you want to go to the hospital? And I said, no, I'm fine. I'm just having a little anxiety attack. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. So I think Amelia case really uh, is important because hopefully it helps shedding the light on a very important and very dangerous healthcare problem. Unfortunately, a lot of our female patients doesn't show up in the hospital, or they just want to just go through this without complaining, but it's a really a life-threatening situation. I do remember going into the cath lab. It was very cold. There was a flurry of activity as they got me prepared for the procedure. I remember kissing my wife goodbye. Not sure if I was going to see her again. When we took the first clot out, the first aspiration, she said, oh, I feel something different. I, I can breathe. And that's exactly what we want to hear. This is the, the moment you know you did something that changed the patient uh, medical course. Computer-assisted vacuum from back to me. It's basically a technology utilizing the computer chip to kind of help the physician figure out, are you having a normal flow? That means you're not in a clot. Or are you in a clot? Which helps one speed the therapy minimize the bleeding risk or blood loss and make the case really, really simple and very efficient. This specific patient, she had multiple segmental PE. So she had the right upper, the right lower, the left upper, and the left lower. And her procedure was extremely fast. It didn't take us more than 15, 20 minutes being in the cath lab. Right after the procedure, I felt better almost immediately. By the time I got back to my room, my heart rate had gone from 146 beats a minute to 76 beats a minute. By the next day, we repeated the echo. She had normalization of her RV function, and she went home that night, less than 24 hours in the hospital. I was thrilled. I was thrilled to be able to come home. Nobody likes being in the hospital. I was so surprised that she got to go home so soon. I could tell instantly she was feeling better. She looked better, she sounded better, she was breathing normally, and she was smiling.